Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I'm Dr. Bhanachuk and I'm an MBS in Oral Pathology. Today I'll be sharing with you how to draw oral pathology diagrams or what are the mistakes that you're making while drawing your oral pathology diagrams. Now this is a question that I get from many students that how to draw oral pathology diagrams or we are not able to fetch good marks in oral pathology or we are not able to draw the diagrams properly. So you should understand that histopathologic diagrams they are the heart of oral pathology. If you know them and you draw them properly well labeled diagrams half battle is already won you will definitely score good marks so the first thing is that you should know the basics now for example if i ask you to draw an apple will you be able to draw an apple definitely yes you will be able to draw an apple everybody who's watching this would be able to draw an apple now why will you be able to draw an apple because you know that what is the color of an apple now it's red in color you know you have picture in your mind okay it's red in color you know the shape of an apple so you'll be definitely able to draw an apple but if i ask you to draw a lasapa so let's draw a lasapa right what i want you to draw is a lasapa what is a lasapa draw a lasapa you will not be able to draw it why because you don't know what is a lasapa actually i myself don't know what's a lasapa i just wrote it randomly so the thing that you don't know how will you draw it the thing that you know you will be able to draw it so the first thing is you should know the basics of oral pathology you should know what are the layers in an epithelium what is catenized epithelium what is non catenized epithelium how to draw a connective tissue what all you will see in a connective tissue so there are some basics right that uh, there is catenized epithelium there is non catenized epithelium what are the layers of catenized epithelium how is the basal cell layer now in connective tissue always you will see fibroblasts you will see coll collagen fibers right you will see ground substance so some basic things what is hyperplastic epithelium if you know some basic things you will be able to draw oral pathology diagrams now for these basics i recommend that you re read uh, your histology book basic histology book from first year bds the book that i refer is textbook of histology by dr gp balsar i referred it in that just open it in just half an hour you will be able to see okay this is an epithelium these are the layers of an epithelium okay this is the connective tissue these these all things are seen in connective tissue this is catenized this is non catenized just basic just go through it for half an hour and you will know okay this is the basic this is what we have to draw because in any lesion it will be like okay this lesion has paracatenized epithelium this lesion has catenized epithelium now if you don't know what is paracatenized you don't know what is catenized epithelium how will you draw it so first learn the just basics what are the layers of epithelium what is connective tissue what all you will see in connective tissue usually in connective tissue what all you will see you will see fibroblast you should know the shape of fibroblast and you should know how to draw it you should know collagen fibers you should know that there are blood vessels then in different lesions for for example if i tell you this lesion is highly vascularized so you know okay i have to draw more blood vessels if it's highly vascularized if i tell you okay this lesion is highly collagenous now you know okay this is normal collagen this is how i draw a normal collagen then you will be able to draw more collagen right so you should know the basics of uh epithelium and connective tissue and just some basic terms paracatenized orthocatenized highly collagenized hyperplastic epithelium just know these basics this is point number 1 now the next point is that you should know the key histopathologic features of all the lesions so all lesions all the tumors or lesions that we'll read have some few key features for example if i tell you to draw ceot calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor now ceot it has some key points for example if i show you on the screen these are the key points of a ceot there are epithelial tumor cells right so one point that i know about it is there are sheets or islands of polyhedral epithelial cells these cells they have well defined cell border and there is presence of intercellular bridges under high magnification i'll be able to appreciate it then there is finally eosinophil cytoplasm so by knowing this i'll be able to draw sheets or islands of polyhedral epithelial cells and i'll be able to draw uh, eosinophilic granular cytoplasm 
cytoplasm and I'll try to show intercellular bridges under high magnification. So this is point number one. Then I know that there is presence of amyloid staining deposit. So if you know that there is presence of amyloid like material which stains eosinophilic or which is pink in color, you will be able to draw this material. And the third thing is that there is presence of Lee's gangrene calcification that is there is calcification which appears basophilic blue in color in concentric rings which is called as Lee's gangrene calcification so if you know two three points what were the two three points important points polyhedral epithelial cells in sheets or islands which have finely granular eosinophilic cytoplasm and they have prominent intercellular bridges one point right then you know that there is presence of amyloid like material Material, right this is point number two and the third is there is presence of Lee's gangrene calcification so if I know these two three basic important points I'll be able to draw the diagram and well label it another example if I ask you to draw an OKC now OKC has corrugated paracaratin now what I told you you should know the basics and you should know the histopathologic features of that lesion now OKC shows paracaratin layer right so if you know the basic that is how a paracaratin layer is and if you know that OKC shows paracaratin then you will be able to uh, draw the diagram nicely and label it nicely so two things you should know the basics and you should know the key histopathologic there, there are always two to three histopathologic key histopathologic features you should know these features you have to draw that and label it that's it so this is the way we can draw oral pathology diagrams nicely the thing that I want to bring into account is uh, what we tend to do and I have also done during my BDS times is we copy diagrams from our friends. Now our friends also don't know the basic, they don't know the histopathology features, they have also copied it from somebody. For example, this was file number one. It was not an apple, it was some histopathologic diagram, right? So the first person who's copying is also not aware how it is done. That first person will draw something like this. For example, the other person will draw something like this, this will come this, this will become this. The end product that you will draw is, this is just a hypothetical example, you will draw this. What was the original, what was our target? Our, our target was to make this and you are copying from somebody, somebody else is copying else, nobody is understanding anything, you are just copying from one another and this is the end result and when you show your diagram to your teachers, they mark it as wrong or do they say to draw it again. So the best thing is that know the basics, know histopathologic features and when you are drawing diagrams, try to draw it from your the one that are displayed outside your department or what is approved by your teachers and not from your friends files. So these are the common mistakes that you make. So what all we have to do? Know the basics, know histopathologic uh, lesion important points or key points, try to follow them. And instead of copying diagrams from our friends, try to draw it from the one provided by the department or that is displayed by the department. What I'll be doing next is I'll be starting a let's draw series in this I will tell you the key points, key histopathologic points for the lesion and I will uh, show you how to draw that lesion. It will solve two purpose. One is you will know the key histopathologic points that you can write in examination for the lesions that I'll be preparing videos. And secondly, for the same lesion, you will also learn slowly how to draw the diagrams, right? So I'll start uploading such videos in the series called Let's Draw. One more thing that I want to share with you is this is very basic in case you don't know it. Now for uh, drawing oral pathology diagrams, we will use these h &E pencils. This is the hematoxylin pencil and this is the eosin pencil. The hematoxylin pencil is purple in color, eosin pencil is pink in color. Why are we using it? we can't see cells they are transparent and colorless so when the section is prepared that is for example if i take a biopsy from my oral mucosa then we prepare a section and we stain it usually we use the h and d stain and that is what is shown to you in your examination the h and d stain slide and that is what we draw right so we use the h and e uh, pencils to draw oral pathology diagrams this purple pencil that is hematoxylin pencil this hematoxylin it's a basic dye and it stains acidic structures so for example it will stain a nucleus right so nucleus will appear purple in color this eosin pencil 
it is a acidic dye and it has affinity for basic structures so pinkish in color we'll draw cytoplasm ground substance right uh, this will appear pink in color so cell cell cytoplasm all these things ground substance we will draw with uh, muscle fibers we'll draw with the pink pencil that is the uh, basic uh, structures and the acidic structures for that we'll use the purple pencil that is the hematoxin so we need h and e pencils for drawing oral pathology diagrams i'll see you in the next lecture and in that we will draw diagrams together we will learn key histopathologic points and we will learn how to draw some basic diagrams thank you for watching the video if you are interested in dental videos do consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything also i have started online classes for teaching oral pathology if you want to know more details about these online classes i'll display my whatsapp number on the screen you can contact me there it takes lots of effort to make such videos your one like can give me lots of encouragement so do like the video subscribe to my channel and keep watching thank you